The new Sonos app has created a major security flaw that everyone needs to understand right now. Regardless of whether you hate or like the redesigned Sonos app, please be aware of this huge security threat and take appropriate action. With the Sonos app update, one of the new features added is full remote access to your home Sonos system from anywhere in the world using just a web browser. Yeah, that's scary. If you upgrade to the new Sonos app, your system is open to the public internet. No way to disable remote access. No security log does not track failed logins to notify you of attempted remote access. There's no basic password security, so there's no two-factor authentication or one-time access passwords sent by SMS, push alerts, or email. So what do you do? My advice is to take these security steps immediately. Everyone should change your Sonos password. Everyone in your house probably knows it's something simple like Sonos or My Music, right? So change it to a more complicated, memorable password that isn't just a simple word or phrase. If you're an advanced user and you want to completely disable remote access, there's no way to do that currently with Sonos directly, but you can block it with your internet firewall router and the blocking rules that are available. Here's an important fun fact, and by fun, I mean scary. Until now, Sonos has only worked on your local home network. It's never had any remote access from outside your home. So security has been lax and an afterthought from Sonos. Passwords didn't really make much of a difference. And in fact, it wasn't until recently that you even needed a password at all just to play music in your home on your Sonos system. They basically were given a pass for not having good password security or not even having passwords at all. But now that your Sonos system without your consent is open to the public internet, you need to be careful and secure your passwords and pay attention to security. And I have some advice for Sonos. No remote access should be the default. Internet remote access should be disabled unless turned on explicitly by the homeowner. So of course, please add a setting that allows us to turn it on or off. Please enforce better password hygiene in general and add support for two-factor authentication and the newer pass keys standard. It would also be nice if you would add multiple logins to allow family and guest access without having full access to the system or more granular controls over what speakers they can and cannot use. And last but not least, now that Sonos is exposed to the public internet, it is imperative that you submit the entire Sonos system to trustworthy third-party security and penetration testing companies. It would really help restore confidence in Sonos as a company. This is the best way to identify potential security flaws and secure the system from external hackers and unauthorized access. If you're just learning about the new Sonos app and the security implications, but want to learn more about what's new in the Sonos app and some of the good things that have been added, watch this video next.